Life Audio. Teach Us to Pray is brought to you by Life Audio and is a part of our Faith Toolkit series. For more inspirational, faith-affirming podcasts, visit lifeaudio.com. Are you having a difficult time with anxious thoughts? Sometimes it feels like the more we fight these thoughts, the worse they become. But you don't have to fight alone. God's Word and the power of prayer can provide great relief when you feel overwhelmed with worry and anxiety. In today's episode, let's pray Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7 together to break the stronghold of anxiety so we can live free of worry. This episode is brought to you by He Gets Us, a nationwide campaign all about raising the respect and relevance of Jesus. Did you see the Super Bowl ads about Jesus? Are you wondering how you can get involved? He Gets Us is a multi-year effort to raise the respect and relevance of Jesus in the United States. Thanks to this unprecedented campaign, millions of Americans are discovering the life-changing impact of Jesus, and we want you to be a part of the movement. Join more than 45,000 He Gets Us fans getting the latest updates, inspiration, prayer ideas, and easy-to-share resources via text message by subscribing to our fans' community. To do so, text FANS to 70193. By being a fan, you can get exclusive updates on new ads, events, and other exciting news related to the He Gets Us movement. We'll also keep you inspired by giving you access to reading plans, prayer guides, and other tools to help on your spiritual journey. Join this community of like-minded individuals who share your passion for spreading the love of Jesus. Simply text FANS to 70193 to join today. Hey there, it's Nicole Yunus, host of the How to Study the Bible podcast, where every single week we join together to encounter God through His Word. You can subscribe at lifeaudio.com. Welcome back, friend. You are listening to the Teach Us to Pray podcast, where we teach believers practical and real life tips on how to grow your faith and relationship with God through the power of prayer. I'm Christina Patterson, host of the Teach Us to Pray podcast and founder of Beloved Women, where I encourage, equip and empower women in the love of Jesus Christ and the truth of God's word. Be sure to connect with me there at BelovedWomen.org or in the Beloved Women app available in the Apple and Google Play stores. One resource there that I think will be very helpful for you, considering our topic for today's episode, is my worry-free Bible study download. You can go to belovedwomen.org and find that free Bible study for you, because what it's going to teach you are the three lies feeding your worry and the truth of God that can set you free. So be sure to check out belovedwomen.org for that free download that will be a great addition to what we're going to be talking about in today's episode. And in today's episode, we are going to be praying through the scriptures to overcome anxious thoughts. One thing that I want to encourage you with is that you are not your thoughts and you have control over your thoughts. Anxious thoughts can pop into our minds and make us feel out of control, but we can rest assured that God is always in control. And knowing and believing that God is in control can give us peace. Isaiah 26 verse 3 says, You keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. As we keep our minds on God, the less power anxious thoughts will have over our minds and hearts. In fact, the scripture for today tells us that as we pray to God instead of worrying, his peace will protect our hearts and our minds. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to pray Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 through 7 because praying scripture is a powerful practice that keeps our minds on God so that we can experience his peace receive protection for our minds from the lies of the enemy and encourage our souls with the promises of God. To learn more about how to pray the scriptures, check out episode 15 of the Teach Us to Pray podcast, where I teach you step-by-step how to pray God's word over your life. 
And so today's episode is going to be like a real life example of that teaching as we will pray Philippians chapter four, verses six through seven to break free from anxiety. The scripture reads, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This is one of my favorite scriptures and it's been a life verse of mine, if you will, if you can have more than one, this is definitely one of them because anxiety is something that I definitely battle with. And God's word has been such a tool and a weapon that has helped me to be victorious over the anxiety that tries to attack my mind. And this scripture in this particular season of my life has been essential in that battle. And so we're going to break this scripture down into three parts, and we're going to pray over each of those three parts together so that we can, like I've said, live free from worry and anxiety because Christ came to set us free. I know sometimes you can battle something for a really long time and feel like it's just always going to be this way. But my prayer is that as you walk with the Lord and grow stronger in him and grow stronger in your knowledge of him and praying over what you know about God based on his word, you'll find strength and courage to fight with power and not to be intimidated by the battle. We all have battles and the enemy wants us to feel intimidated just by the fact that we're in a battle. But the Bible tells us that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And so I hope that that encourages you to know that just because you are in a battle doesn't mean that you need to be discouraged or that you are weak. The enemy is fighting you because you are a threat. You are a child of God and you will be victorious. So to pray over our minds against anxiety, we're going to start with the first part of the verse, which says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication. And the lesson that this part of the scripture teaches us is that instead of worrying, instead of being anxious, we are called to pray. And what I love about this is that the Bible isn't just saying, don't be anxious. You know, like if it was that easy, then we would have already done it, right? But we find ourselves constantly against a wall fighting the same battle with anxious thoughts over and over and over again. And so what the scripture is telling us is that instead of becoming discouraged and giving those anxious thoughts more power by thinking about them, (laughs) we can shift our minds to choose to say, you know what, I'm going to pray instead. And in fact, a good counterattack is to pray about the thing that you are anxious about. Whatever it is that the enemy is trying to put in your head or worry is trying to put in your heart that is bad is going to happen or whatever you're worried about, pray about that thing. Use that as a prayer point to pray for, to take it to God and ask him for what it is that you need, what it is that you really want. So let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much that we can come to you in prayer. We thank you that you hear us when we pray. Lord, you know what's on our minds. You know the feelings of anxiety in our hearts, Lord. And we just pray that you would deliver us, Lord, from this stronghold of anxiety and worry, God. Whatever it is specifically that's on our mind that we're worried about, Lord, we give it to you. We know that you are in control. We know that you can do more than we can do. You can do more than we can ask or imagine, God. And so we pray right now that you will do that. We leave it at your throne, God. We give you our cares, Lord. You know all the what if questions in our minds, God. And we pray that you would ease those anxieties, God, as you take care of the things that we don't have control over, God. Thank you for your sovereignty, God. Thank you that you are a God above all. Thank you that you are all powerful, God. Where we are weak, Lord, you are strong. Where we can't do anything, God, you can move, Lord. We're trusting that this is what you will do as we replace our worry for trust in you. 
In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. The next part of this scripture that I want us to pray over says, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And so the lesson that we learn here is that we want to let our requests be made known to God, right? The Bible tells us to cast our cares on God. And one thing that anxiety will sometimes trap us with is to think that we can't present something to God. Either we think that it's too big for him. Either we think that he doesn't care and he won't move or for whatever reason, he won't move on our behalf or we just don't think to ask (laughs) at all. And so what that does is it puts us in a thought pattern where we're just only thinking about the anxious thought and not taking it to God at all. And so I love that this scripture reminds us that we can take anything to God. We can pray about anything. And so we should therefore, as the scripture tells us, pray about everything. There is nothing too deep, nothing too dark, nothing too far gone that God cannot handle. Your anxious thoughts will not scare God. So talk to him about them. Let him know what you're actually anxious about. In this part of the scripture, however, there is a stipulation that says we're to do this with thanksgiving. And I love this because prayer is powerful and thanksgiving is transformative. Having a grateful heart will change your life. A lot of our anxious thoughts are about what we don't have, what we feel like we need, but we don't have it or what we can't do, right? There's usually a negative connotation to it. And so having a thankful heart and taking time to meditate on how has God already moved in this area that I'm anxious in? How, what is he already doing? It reminds our minds and shifts our minds to God, not only to refocus us from the anxious thought to God, but to remind us that he's able, that he is capable, that if he did it before, he can do it again. And so as we present our prayers to God and we pray to God and we make our requests known to him as we should openly and honestly without shame, because God loves us and he cares for us and he's not surprised by what's on our minds. This episode is brought to you by He Gets Us a nationwide campaign all about raising the respect and relevance of Jesus. Did you see the Super Bowl ads about Jesus? Are you wondering how you can get involved? He Gets Us is a multi-year effort to raise the respect and relevance of Jesus in the United States. Thanks to this unprecedented campaign, millions of Americans are discovering the life-changing impact of Jesus. And we want you to be a part of the movement. Join more than 45,000 He Gets Us fans getting the latest updates, inspiration, prayer ideas, and easy-to-share resources via text message by subscribing to our fans community. To do so, text FANS to 70193. By being a fan, you can get exclusive updates on new ads, events, and other exciting news related to the He Gets Us movement. We'll also keep you inspired by giving you access to reading plans, prayer guides, and other tools to help on your spiritual journey. Join this community of like-minded individuals who share your passion for spreading the love of Jesus. Simply text FANS to 70193 to join today. Has fear stolen your peace? I'm Jennifer Slattery, lead host of the Faith Over Fear podcast, helping you fight your fears and grow your faith. Subscribe at lifeaudio.com. We do so with a thankful heart. So as we pray, we're going to take time to thank God even in the midst of this battle of anxious thoughts that we have. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, that we can present our requests to you, Lord. We take time right now to pour out our hearts to you and let you know exactly what it is that we feel like we're lacking, what it is that we feel like we don't know or how things will turn out, Lord. We give it to you, Lord, and we ask that you will move in these areas. But we don't ask this without thanksgiving, God. 
We thank you for the way that you've already moved. We thank you for the ways that you're providing for us right now. We thank you that we can come to you and and pray. We thank you that you are God alone and there is no God like you, God. We thank you for loving us and moving on our behalf. We thank you for working out situations like this before in our lives. And we're reminded that you can and will do it again. We thank you for the ways that you provided when we weren't sure how things would work out. We thank you for the mountains that you move, God, because we didn't have the strength to climb them, God. We thank you for the ways that you protect us from things that we didn't even know were coming, God, and we'll never know because you protected us from them. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. And the last part of the scripture that I want us to pray over today says, And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. What I love about this is that the scripture reminds us that God is actively helping us in our battle of anxiety. This is what we have to realize is this battle with anxiety and anxious thoughts, worry thoughts is more than just negative thinking. It's a spiritual war that needs God's power and protection. And we are blessed because prayer gives us the power that we need and God's peace gives us the protection that we need. An anxious thought wants us to panic and spiral into a sea of endless what ifs. But God's peace stills the raging waters of anxiety and calms our minds and hearts and protects us from the harmful results of anxiety. So we may battle with anxiety, but anxiety will not win. God is for us and he is protecting us with his peace. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I love that the peace that you give surpasses all understanding. So much of what I'm anxious about is because I don't understand how a situation might work out. And I'm fearful that it won't work out the way that I desire, God. But your thoughts are higher than my thoughts. And your understanding is greater than mine, Lord. Right now, God, I am going to lean on your understanding. And I am going to trust in you and not my own understanding, God that I may receive your peace that guards my heart and protects my mind. Lord, please give me the mental and emotional and spiritual strength to do this because sometimes it gets incredibly hard, God. And sometimes it is hard when my thoughts are just going from place to place and I don't have time to process. Lord, I pray you would still my soul so that I can remember that you are God. You are God of all. You are greater than my thoughts, God. And your peace is greater than my worries. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Prayer is powerful, but it is not the only tool God provides to help and heal our anxious thoughts. If your battle with anxiety becomes too much, please seek help. We've provided resources in today's show notes to help you do just that. Thank you so much for praying with me today. I pray that the seeds that we planted in prayer are fruitful for many years to come in your life. It is my hope that today's episode provided you with insight and helpful tips on how you can pray. As a gift to you, be sure to download my free five-day prayer guide and take my prayer personality quiz to learn how you best hear and connect with God. You may find all links in today's show notes. We have so much more to talk about when it comes to prayer. So I hope that if you were encouraged by today's episode, you will share it with a friend and subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes of the Teach Us to Pray podcast, where we will continue to learn how just like breathing, prayer can become a natural, consistent, and life-giving part of our everyday lives. Until then, be sure to connect with me at BelovedWomen.org and join me on the Beloved Women app for unlimited videos and daily devotionals to grow your faith, learn God's word, and encourage your soul. 
available in the Apple and Google Play stores or at BelovedWomen.tv. Thank you so much for taking time to listen today. God bless you, and I'll talk to you in the next episode. Teach Us to Pray is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Hey there, it's Nicole Eunice from the How to Study the Bible podcast, and I'd love to invite you to join us as we weekly discover a passage of God's Word together. From beginning to end, from principles to practicals, we are here to make sure that God's Word is powerful and relevant to your life. If that sounds like something you're looking for, I would love to invite you to subscribe. You can go to lifeaudio.com and search How to Study the Bible, and we'll see you there.